This is your house. Bring that one up, please. This is God's house. Now, let's look at the equity or the inequity of God. Let's look at whether or not God is reasonable or unreasonable in what he requires. So now, God says, first of all, he says, I don't want anything from you except for the first of ten. Except this cattle, uh, you know, a, a child, you devote your firstborn. You don't wait till you get ten kids and then start devoting them. Now, hey amen, about you, you know, you the ten, but now we devote. Listen, so now, here is the deal. You cannot become a tither using American currency. You cannot become a tither until you are given or earn a dime. So now, if you have never earned a dime, God has never registered you as a tither. Your bag doesn't have holes in it. He doesn't blow on your nine pennies. He doesn't, listen, and he doesn't call you unproductive. Now, but you will live with nine pennies. But the moment you hit a tenth penny, you're to become a tither. God makes it very simple that I want the tenth part. Now, so when you say tenth part, that means God says, after it gets to a dime, then that's when I want it. That's what I call the tenth part. So now, here it is. God says you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten loaves of bread. I want one. God says you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten Idaho loaded potatoes. I want one. God says you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten minute made apple juices. I want one. God says you have 10 Capri Suns, 10 Oreo packs of cookies, 10 Jiffy Mix, and 10 Mountain Dews. I want one. That's the time. That's your house. And you tell God, I can't tie. You tell God, I can't believe you want that. And and you won't give God this and you say, God, heal my body. I'm sick and I, I, I might die. And I, Lord, I, they say I got cancer. Lord, they say my lungs don't work. Lord, they say my female organs don't work. Lord, oh, Lord, I got kidney failure. Lord, help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. But you say, I won't give you that. Now, while you are asking the Lord to heal you, you come to the house that this is supposed to sustain and ask it to be here with the doors open and available for you and you do nothing to keep it open. But complain about the preacher. Complain about the church always needing money. But when you get sick, do you ask the building to pay for you? Y'all not going to talk to me. When your marriage is in trouble, do you ask the building to talk to you? Now, God said, I want you to do this, that there may be food in my house. Now, there's in your, so now, but God, that's not it. I know it makes sense. God says tithe and offering. So y'all help me. Give me two of everything here. Just make sure I have two. Here, God asks for tithe and offering. He say, keep this. I'm going to speak positive over it. 
I'm going to make this work more than all of that would have worked together. He says, that's my promise to you. Bring me 10%, we start discussion. We open the windows of heaven. Then bring me to my time. So 10% brings bread to my house. 20% puts bread in your house. So you say, all of you that don't tithe, so you say, I just can't, Doc. I just can't put it back where it goes. Let me, so when you tell your neighbor this, say, if it all stays on that one table in your life, just know you are a kingdom criminal. Okay, just know that. So now, so now understand, when you understand that, then you're going to understand what's next. So now, what God desired to bless by you giving 10%. You don't tithe, he says. He said, I wish you would think you're going to keep my stuff. And you, your car motor gonna go out. The air condition in your house gonna go out. Your medical bills are gonna go up. Your rent is gonna go up. Your electricity is gonna go up. Your husband gonna leave you. Your children gonna go to jail. I'm gonna cause financial crises in your life. You will not rob me and get away with it. <laughs> 